Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Another special beer. Um, this is my first Southern Tier beer. Um, I've heard an awful lot about Southern Tier. Really looking forward to this one. It's a double X. It's a 2X IPA. It's a double IPA. It weighs in at 8.3% ABV and 68 IBUs. International Bittering Units, I think it means. Um, as I say, really looking forward to Southern Tea, my first beer. Thanks to Chad for sending this one to me. He lives near New York. I said New York in the last view, review, but it's, it's near New York. So, um, On the bottle, what I say, it's brewed with four varieties of hops and three types of malts. Should be a very good drink. Let's get it open. Oh, first of all, let's show you the cap. Okay, now let's get it open. A little bit of smoke there. Look at the carbonation going on in that glass, in that bottle. Glass bottle. Okay, let's pour it out. What are we getting? Give it a nice rigorous pour. It's very, very yellow. Kind of hazy beer. A little bit of carbonation. It's a small one finger head. Nice and frothy. Looks really good. Let's give it a smell. Wow. Again. Um, I was out in Barry last night, um, where I live, and I went to an old stuffy old cons club, conservative club, where the, the beers are the, the, these old bitters, and they were three and a half percent. And I was drinking them, and I was thinking, I wish I had an IPA in front of me right now. <laughs> it's incredible how your taste change. I'd say probably a year or two ago, I'd have been quite content with sitting there all night, paying £2.50 for, for some watered down rubbish, but not anymore, not anymore, no. Um, your style of taste buds change, the style of beers change over the years, if you, if you try these different beers, you won't go back, you won't go back. I was sitting there last night thinking, what am I doing? It was a kid's party, so, kid's disco, so there we go. Using my available Morgan glass, the aromas. Fantastically grapefruity again. I'm going to dig in, I can't wait no more. That is a big beer. A really big beer. It's very, very, I might be just getting used to it, but it's 8.3%. You would never, ever know that. Um, this is better. This is one of the better IPAs. It's very smooth. It's, it's not as bitter as some of the other IB, um, IPAs I've had. It's nice, it's crisp, it's cold, it's grapefruity. A little piney. It's absolutely fantastic. This is going down so well. So well, in fact, I'm going to have some more. It's an absolutely great drink. Oh. Nice bit of lacing on the glass, look. The head kept quite well quite a fresh lively drink if you haven't tried these IPAs I know I'm banging on about it a little bit now but if you're in the UK I was up Tesco's the other day and Tesco's do their own um, IPA Indian Pale Ale American style Indian Pale Ale it's actually made by Brewdog um, it's two pounds a bottle try it put it in the fridge cool it down try it I am absolutely sure I'm convinced that you will not go back um, that's Tesco's, try Tesco's. Also up Tesco's, they also sell um, the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. That's really worth a buy. Um, I heard a lot of great, great things about that. I think that's what started the whole, the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale started the whole um, IPA scene in America. So it's well worth a try. 
back to this beer though. Um, I imagine the website is www.southerntier.com. Um, give it a try. It is actually Southern Tier Brewing. SouthernTierBrewing.com. So check them out. Lakewood, New York, USA. 12 fluid ounces. 355 mils in the UK. Uh, there's a government warning on the side. There's a barcode which I'm going to use for my little project. Um, and there's a date. It was actually uh, 11.57 it was made. On I, I can't work out what day it was but it was 11.57. 11, See if there's any more in a the bottle. They're, they're so good these, these IPAs. They are so good. Let's see if I can get some more flavours and we will rate it. Got that grapefruit citrus, fantastic, like slightly lemongrassy taste. Um, followed by this lovely pine taste that goes on. What what there was it was in my mind. What was going down then is it goes down this a lovely warming. Um, Beer. It's not like drinking sandpaper, but it goes down really, really well. Nice and smooth and crisp. I imagine myself, I, I could easily drink four or five of these without a shadow of a doubt. Very, very quickly indeed. So, on that basis, on the flavours, the taste, the aroma, the drinkability, I'm going to go... This gets another big 9 out of 10 for me. I might be slightly biased. I absolutely love this style of beer. But I can't help it. This is what is in my thoughts. This is what I want to give it. It's a 9 out of 10. Um, please, let me know your comments on this. Let me know what you think. Um, always love answering comments. If you want to subscribe to my channel, carry on. Thanks again to Chad. Cheers buddy, um, check out his channel Chad's Beer Reviews and Chad9976, if you want to check me out I'm on Twitter, Real Ale Today, I, you can email me realaleguide at googlemail.com, uh, Facebook Real Ale Guide, Skype Real Ale Guide and i got a website www.therealaleguide.com. Okay. Thanks for watching another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, be posting another video in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching and cheers.